good morning from the great state of Wisconsin, everybody. We're in Black River Falls, and we're just about 20 minutes away from where we're gonna drop this lumber off that's weighing me down. And I don't have a reload yet, I'm still waiting. So maybe by the time our step deck is empty, we'll have a direction to point our nose. Actually woke up feeling really good this this morning. Got up with lots of time, went and cleaned the truck a bit, took out the garbage, and grabbed a coffee. Was able to watch some YouTube. That's gonna be a good day, I think. No more snow today. Hopefully it'll all melt quickly. It's kind of a brutal snowstorm yesterday. Well, I have an empty step deck behind me right now. Triaxle. Nope, that wasn't what I thought it was. And I'm waiting for freight. Not often have I had to wait for freight in the past nine years. But every once in a while, you know, I gotta wait a while. They've been very good at keeping me busy. Uh, it's one thing I can be thankful for. I've always, always had something to do. I've rarely ever sat more than like a few hours. So I just parked. We'll give it a few hours. We'll see what happens. But with everything going on with the virus and stuff, it concerns me a little bit that I would suddenly not have freight like that. Maybe it's just a coincidence. I don't know. They'll find something. They'll find something. I don't find my own loads. Those of you who are newer to the channel, uh, there's an office back in Manitoba, my home province, where the load gods are. And they find loads for me. Uh, they take care of all the headaches for me. They chase after all the money for me so I don't gotta be chasing people down while doing everything else that I do. Uh, and then uh, there's a split. They take a little bit of, a little bit off the top of the load. Uh, so I'm contracted to them, which means that I can only pull for them. I can't go and pull a load here for them, pull a load there. I can't go and find my own loads. According to the con, they will do all that for me. They've got their own customers, their own contracts to fulfill, and they just send me where I'm needed and uh, take a little bit off the top of what the load pays. I'm okay with that because then I don't got to deal with all the headaches. There's a lot of headaches in dealing with brokers and customers and money and everything else that goes into it. I don't gotta worry about any of that. All I gotta do is worry about getting the load from point A to point B safely and making sure that nothing falls off my trailer in, in, in the middle there somewhere. So they'll find something, they'll find something. I hope, <laughs> I need to keep moving. But we're all in this same boat, aren't we? Even us, essentials have to slow down because everything is slowing down it's it, this world is crazy right now if you're watching this in the future sometime years down the road uh, this is the COVID-19 pandemic that swept across the world and shut the world down almost it's not it's not completely shut down every little ding I get get excited for <laughs> didn't shut the whole world down we're still trying to keep it moving as much as we can but it's definitely slowed down a lot millions are unemployed right now and uh, I'm lucky enough to still have stuff to do but there's less to do obviously so we'll see how long I'm here for I'm gonna go in the back there and uh, I think I'm gonna take a nap and wait for one of my devices here to go but the ding ding you got something to do You've got something to do. Let's hope that it's just a coincidence, because you know I've I've had to wait before. This isn't un like it's uncommon, but it's not unheard of that I that I 
don't have anything to do like right after usually what would happen they're so good that usually what would happen is that before i even deliver one load i've got my next one lined up and the one after that lined up and maybe one more after that lined up and like my whole week is just planned out usually they're that good uh it's been great for like nine years same thing on when i was on dry van now i'm on flatbed they've been fantastic but uh every once in a while you know it's a monday so uh they didn't have anything lined up for me last week which is what they would usually do so now they're starting from scratch monday morning so they're looking they're 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 organizing something so what they're probably going to do is they're going to find me uh a load from here and then that'll take me somewhere else obviously and they'll find a load from there and a load from there so they'll, pro they'll probably get one or two or three lined up and then they'll send them all through to me that's usually what happens. I think I'm just uh, a little nervous because of how everything's slowing down. I'm a little nervous that I'm gonna be parked more, which I can't really complain about because you're probably parked a lot too, aren't you? And if you're not one of us, I guess, essentials, you might be completely out of work or, or on a standstill. You're probably bored sitting at home. Thanks for choosing my video to watch. I have a lot more to occupy your time while you're bored. Just go to my channel. There's like over 2,000 videos. Oh, you'll be you're set with stuff to watch until everything gets going again. Just go check out my channel. There, I've been doing this for uh, almost nine, eight years, I think. Eight years I've been making videos every day, almost every day. So, lots to do. Anyway, I'll check in with you again once I hear something. Hopefully soon. Well, according to our governments, we're supposed to start wearing masks when we go out. Masks are very hard to find. So here we go. You better not hit me. You better not hit me. Watching you. Of all the big open parking spots, you picked this one right here. Of the whole parking lot, you wanted to be right beside Trucker Josh. Anyway, the masks aren't to protect me. I mean, particles can still get through here, like, apparently right they can get in here and stuff but uh what the masks do is it stops me from speaking moistly on you as our prime minister would say it, it stops uh say if i have a a sudden cough hold this guy parked crooked wow didn't even try anyway uh if i were to suddenly like <clears throat> cough like suddenly in the store uh this just stops like water particles from my cough or my sneeze from going off into the store. It also stops me from directly touching my face. Since there's something on my face like this, it makes you very conscious and very aware of the fact that there's something on your face. It reminds you not to touch your face. Uh, it's also very awkward wearing this in public still because it, to me it still feels wrong to wear a mask in public because to me, it feels like you're trying to hide something when you wear a mask. You know, robbers wear masks to conceal their identity. Now, I'm not trying to conceal my identity, but I'm trying to uh, be safer, right? So you go like this, and it uh, when you're, I just sanitize my hands. But in the store, you're touching this, you're touching that. You don't know what has what on it, right? So you touch something, and then you touch your face. If you have something on your face, it just it makes you constantly aware of where your hands are. It does help. It does help a little bit. It's not going to prevent much, but it, it helps you to be safer. And, uh, you know, it, it stops your particles. Like Trudeau, when he says, speaking moistly. All the moisture and the vapor. I know what he was trying to say. It was just funny the way he said it. You can tell he regretted it the second he said it, too. But uh, it, it stops those particles from flowing out so far and spreading out around the store you're in as well. So... When you're out in public, you should be wearing a mask. And we're off! Driving through a little bit of a Wisconsin winter wonderland here. I love Wisconsin. I love all the bush, all the forest. Reminds me of home a lot. So we have a, a reload, a partial reload, a LTL load, less than truck load. Uh, 25 feet coming out of uh, Mossony, Wisconsin, is that how you say it? Mossony? 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 Wisconsin? Central Wisconsin? 
moseying our way over there right now. I'm going to go pick up our 25 feet and the load gods are currently scrambling to find stuff to fill up the other space on my trailer. At least I would like to think that they're scrambling. Let's hope. This load is going back to Winnipeg. I'd like to go somewhere different once. You know, it's always the same thing, but I guess they're keeping me close to home so I can't complain. Can't, I'll take anything. I'll just put some freight on me. I'll go. Find the freight with the most nickels on it and throw it my way. I'll bring you there. I just don't know if they, if they think that I need to be close to home. I mean, I like it, so I don't want to change it because as soon as you say, like, oh, send me to Florida, all of a sudden you're in Florida nonstop. And that's not a bad thing, but that's really far away from home. So I kind of like the gig I got. I get to be home a little more often, but at the same time, every now and then, you know, I'd like to see something new. I'd love to go to, like, Nevada or Utah, Arizona, New Mexico. Not California, though. I'm not interested in trucking into California. We'll go visit them in a personal vehicle. I don't want to... They have too many laws down there. They're crazy. But, you know, Washington State, Oregon, I'd like to go west. But our freight lanes don't take me that way, but you know, that's why sometimes I wish I could schedule my own freight. It's just, it's a lot of headaches to go through, but, you know, a lot of people do it. If they can do it, I can do it. Maybe one day I will, maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But then I can choose where I go more so, right? I, I can look for freight going to certain areas and... We'll see what happens. I like the gig I got right now, so don't plan on changing nothing, especially in these times. Just trying to get through this pandemic. I want to get through the other side, so I'm not going to make any big moves. Well, we saw what happened, and here we sit. So the load I'm supposed to pick up is 25 feet. It's uh, the first pickup. The second pickup I got is going to take up most of the rest of the trailer. Both going to Winnipeg. Both needs to be tarped. However, none of them or neither of them are ready to be picked up today. We're going to pick them up tomorrow. So uh, 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. We're going to load up the first bit, tarp it, run down to our second uh, pickup in Reedsburg, Wisconsin. Load that up, tarp that. And then meander our way back to Winnipeg, and hopefully they got something better for us heading out of Winnipeg, going somewhere. Must be pretty slow if they're piecing together a load for me like this out of a bunch of LTL freight, but... It is what it is. I am so tired. I am... I'm okay with having a... a oh, excuse me. I'm okay with having a, an early night here and uh, just relaxing, watching some TV or just uh, reading my book and then headed to, headed to bed. As you can tell, I'm pretty tired. I, I guess I didn't sleep as well as I thought last night. Uh, I know I didn't sleep well the night before either. I had a little bit of heartburn or uh, acid reflux, whatever you want to call it, but I'm fine. I'm fine. It was just, it, it woke me up a couple of times. So I'm going to sleep really good tonight. I'm going to have like a 14 hour sleep and it's going to be great. Probably actually going to sleep too much and then I'll be tired tomorrow. Well, that's a risk I'm willing to take. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, a little bit of a short vlog today. Don't forget, when you go into closed spaces, into buildings in public, and shippers and receivers, you should be wearing a mask just to prevent yourself from, as Trudeau would say, as I said before, speaking moistly on others. You don't want to, even when you're just talking, if you uh, have the virus and you don't know it, you have no symptoms, just talking can spread it. Sorry, my hair is all over the place right now. This is embarrassing. But that's okay. I'm in bed. What do you expect? This is the world we live in now. Trucker Josh has crazy hair now. It's just it's just what's what's going on. This is what you can expect from now on. <laughs> okay. Gonna relax now. We'll see you tomorrow for uh, an exciting day. We got two pickups to do tomorrow, so should be a lot to show you. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a video and you can go back in uh, on my channel and check out all my other stuff too if you like. If not, hey, thanks for stopping by anyway.